Welcome. In my last video on FFmpeg, I talked about passing the output of FFmpeg to the input of ffplay. And in this video, I'm actually going to use that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take four Amcrest cameras and put them in a two by two matrix on the screen. I wanna say ahead of time that this isn't perfect. Um, this is kind of learning some stuff. It doesn't work great on this computer. I'm on a like four year old uh, MacBook. This might work better on a more powerful computer. And this isn't necessarily the best way to do this, but as kind of a learning um, experience, it is useful to look at. So the first thing I did is I went into my Amcrest cameras and I changed on the substream. I made sure this was at uh, 640 by 480 and I changed it to one FPS. Um, and I, I left the rest defaults. So I did that and now I'll open terminal. I'll make this bigger. So what I want to do is I want to open up four different streams at once. So I have my notes over here and I have these streams. I'll copy it over. And this is a, an RTSP stream from an Amcrest camera. And you'll see over here we have the channel equals one and subtype equals one. And um, this is that subtype, the second uh, stream. If it's zero, it's the first stream, which is the higher resolution stream. And I want to use the lower resolution stream. So I have um, three more of these for different cameras. So now these uh, shell variables are set to each have their own stream. So, and I'll put a link in the description to my website and I'll put some notes on there so you don't have to look at the um, exact text that I'm using here. And next I'll copy this line and I'll go over it before we run it. So this is FFmpeg. And I also have videos on FFmpeg. I'll put links to some playlists and some things down below if you need more information on this. So we have FFmpeg and we have dash I and that's uh, setting an input and we have vid backyard. So that's this first input. And I've done that for all four inputs. Then I added this reorder Q size 4000 and I had an error and I did some Googling and it seemed like this is the thing to add in here. So as it's a learning thing, you can see if that works better with or without that, or you may change the value of it. Um, next we have max, let me change this here. We have max delay is, uh, looks like 10 million. And then here we have filter complex, and this is the meat of what we're doing. So uh, we start with a quote, and then we have uh, zero colon V, and then we have one colon V. So this is the zero input, it starts counting at zero, so that's our first input, which is vid backyard, and we want the V, which is the video. And then we have uh, the second video, which is uh, one, and then colon V, so that's the second video. Then we're gonna run the H stack, filter and we're going to output t and t is for top so we're gonna so what you do is you have the two inputs and then you have the output so it stacks these here um, horizontally and then we have a semicolon and next we're going to take two colon v which is the third video which is vid garage and uh, three colon v which is the fourth video which is vid door and we're going to run that through h stack and that we're going to name b so we have T for top, B for bottom. Then we're gonna say semicolon, T and B in brackets. So we're gonna take top and bottom, we're gonna vertically stack these, and we're gonna output that as V. Then we're gonna to map to V, that's for our output. And we're gonna do, the format is H.264 or H264. And then we do V codec. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm using the hardware uh, encoding uh, encoder. So we have H.264 or H.264 underscore video toolbox and then space and dash B colon B, which is our video bitrate, is 2500K space and then pipe colon one. And this is what I went over in my last video. So you output to pipe one, which is the standard output. We pipe that to FF play dash I space pipe colon zero, which is the standard input. So we'll run this. And like I said, this isn't necessarily ideal. This will take a while for this to fire up, um, for it to pull up all the screens. And it doesn't update super fast either. Okay, so here we are. We have all four videos up. And what you can do is you can uh, pass, I think it's dash FS to FF play for full screen, or you can just hit the F button. And now we have full screen video here. 
and you can see the timeline, uh, the time counter on them is kind of slow. So this one's like stuck at 42 up in the upper right, at 31, 32 in the bottom right. So the time's not updating quickly. So this isn't like a perfect solution here. I think it kind of looks cool. It just doesn't run real great. And uh, you know, maybe if I had a little bit faster hardware, this would work better. Um, so, and certainly, if you know of um, you know any way I could optimize this and make this run better, you know, you know, post it in the comment if you have any ideas about this. But you know, this is kind of a way to highlight how the um, H stack and V stack can be used together to make like a matrix. So, and we're playing this live. You could save this to a file um, if you wanted to, also. So I'll escape out of this. I just hit the escape here. I think you can hit Q. And alternatively, we can just, um, I have the same thing with just two of the streams. So I'll run that. Okay, so here we have it here. I can hit F again and I can make this full screen. And you can see with two videos, it's working a little bit better. We have the timers counting down every second and we, are have, we do have one FPS right now. So, I see I have a spider web on the camera. I need to go clean that off, otherwise I'll get triggers all night on there. So yeah, if you have a faster computer, this might work better. Now, how useful is this? I don't know, because you can just um, you know download multiple different uh, types of security software that'll give you a four by four matrix. But this is just demonstrating how you could do that with FFmpeg. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.